Yeah, I got the radio going on in the background. <laughs> I don't usually do that because of copyright laws and all that other crap. But it's so low, I don't care. I'm preparing a base for the three horses and possibly uh, five horses. I'm just establishing the center of the board right now. And I want to go with a base that's, uh, I don't think I want to go more than five inches. Maybe four, five, let's go five, just to be safe. That's two and a half inches. It's a half. Yeah, I'm actually listening to a station in Wisconsin, WTAQ. Time to play with some play. I gotta get this right because I gotta make a rectangular base if I do do this and I want to keep it within a certain certain area I'm going to drill a couple of holes uh, so I, my board doesn't split on me down the uh, board. What I'm trying to do is plot out the movement of the horses okay I think I know what I'm going to do <sighs> all right I've got some three inch wide tape duct tape and I'm going to make a reservoir to pour my foam into. I'm going to make a foam base. If I was to use clay, I'd use about $50 worth of clay to do a couple of cents worth of uh, foam will do. Now that's if I can get the thing <laughs> untaped here. All right, I'm making a reservoir to pour foam into. That's what I'm doing. And uh, you got to have some kind of form to do this with. And you don't want it flowing all over your table. And you don't want it flowing all over your board. So I'm just using this duct tape as my reservoir. And I'm using the blue tape to kind of support the sides of the reservoir the way I want them supported. There we go. I want the front of the uh, base to be just a little bit curved in inward. So that's what I'm doing. Okay.
miniature. I have no holes in this area, what do I do? Oh, wait, I'm waiting on it. The key is just to keep all the uh, seams tight. Because believe me when I tell you that if foam can find a weakness in your seam, it will come through it. And I'm trying to keep it from getting messy. So I'm going to... narrow this down in the front. I want it high in the back and narrow in the front. Now it's a matter of getting my hand in there to Puff it out a little bit. I may have made a mistake doing that, but whatever. I got some narrower duct tape that I'm going to use to seal holes. I see. The foam will expand out, so that'll be good. Now I gotta seal the bottom part. Believe me, I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. It's an experiment, like everything. And you want to wear clothes that if you get the foam on, you won't worry about losing the clothes because that foam, once it gets on something, it will never, ever come off. Believe me. I've got clothes from 40 years ago that still have the foam on them. Alright, now, this is the one that's really the hard one to control because it gets real sticky. <clears throat> Okay, get that out of the way. This one you have to wipe that mouth of the uh, pour spout off because if you don't, you'll never get that 
cap off ever again. <laughs> if I'm making it sound like, what am I doing this for? It's basically that is pretty much it. Why am I doing this? Let me get my camera set up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting a plastic cling wrap onto the uh, spout. So when I put the lid on, it will seal it, but it won't stick to the plastic. This stuff is very hard to ha handle, and you, it's not meant for amateurs. And you don't want to do this in your mom's living room. Oh, baby. She would be upset if you got that on the carpet. You'd never get it off the carpet. All right, now what I'm going to do is stir it. That mixes the two parts. The A and B. I may have made more than I need, but that's okay. There have more than not enough. Okay, I'm going to get this ready to go. Get my utensils out of the way. There's a reason I'm wearing gloves, because it gets on your hands. It's going to be a couple of weeks before you get it off your hands. If I'm sounding scary, believe me, it is scary stuff. Okay, I'm going to tilt this so the foam goes down into the center of the uh, sculpture, the uh, tape, so it fills up the bottom part. I don't see any leaks so far. That's good. All right, now we just wait for it to foam up. All right, now it's, it's time to disassemble the uh, tape. I can touch it now, the foam. Still just a little sticky, but it doesn't come off onto your fingers, which is a big plus. And what I'm going to do is split the foam. I mean, uh, the tape. I'm going to wait just a little longer because that part, because it was under the tape, is still a little sticky. I did a good job. None of it leaked. Just a 
do. Get a little bit of paper towel so I don't get my fingers all sticky. just let that uh, harden up and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and form uh, this into something that I can use hopefully that's gonna be it for tonight guys and I'll see you next time please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.